The next step is to put the motherboard into the computer housing. Make sure to use as many screws as possible. The motherboard is now in its place. Usually you'd have to put a metal part like this one between the housing and the connections of the motherboard, but unfortunately we don't have that metal part for this particular motherboard, so we cannot do that. But if you have that metal part, uh, you have to put it into the housing before you build in the motherboard. Now we'll build in the power supply and to do that you need four screws. And there you have it. The power supply is in its place. Now you can already make the first connection between the power supply and the motherboard. That's the big connector right there. We hope that this video was able to help you building your own personal computer.